Hi, I just wanted to post this video so I can show that I've got one of these 12 volt, 30 amp, 360 watt power supplies that uh, I got for about $25 on eBay. Um, what I was having trouble with was the transformer base power supply that I was using with my amateur radio. I uh, only was getting out with 3 amps and I was only able to run the radio at a low power setting of 5 watts. I was not able to run it at mid power 25 watts or a high power of 50 watts. So I thought I'd try one of these power supplies out. And I watched a few videos on uh, the power supplies and there were some people who were not getting good units and some that were and uh, well either they were getting a physical defect or the board was bad but I bought mine from an outfit in Missouri and this one's working pretty good so far uh, there were no dings or dents or anything in the case it was a actually in a box in a in a padded envelope so it was shipped really well if you have any questions on who it was I got it from I'll look it up just post it question on there and I'll reply to it and I'm going to come around and look on this side here I went ahead and used a normal three prong uh, computer power supply uh, power cord excuse me and uh, wired it in there after watching those videos online. It was fairly simple. Just used my uh, multimeter that I got today and uh, paid about $20 for that at Home Depot. Imagine they have a similar one at Lowe's or Ace Hardware somewhere like that. And I've let the uh, power supply run for two hours just like a burn-in and it's still working good and uh, basically you can hear the um, fan and the draw uh, a little bit more as it as the radio transmits on different power levels currently my radio is set at uh, high power and I'll switch it over to low power and this is an old uh, Kenwood uh, TM251A. I think I got that sometime back in the mid 90s. Uh, used to be in more into amateur radio back then. Uh, but then uh, got married and had kids. Got out of it so I thought I'd pull it back out and try it out. And So let's uh, see here and I'm going to be quiet here and I'm going to uh, hit the key at low power and you can hear uh, the draw on the power supply. It's got a variable speed fan that uh, will kick in when it needs to. So that was at low power. That's 5 watts. And I believe the middle power is 25 watts on this radio. So let's see uh, what it does here. So it doesn't really sound much different there. Uh, when I tried to do that on the Radio Shack uh, power supply, uh, basically the display would go berserk and it would not uh, transmit on mid power or high power. It could only transmit on low power, 5 watts, with the 3 amp power supply. But now this one is uh, 30 amps, I'm able to, to do that. And now it's on the high power setting, so it's putting out a full 50 watts. I got this hooked up to a tri-band, uh, actually a retail antenna, it's not a J-pole or anything like that. So I'm going to key it up on simplex. So the power supply seems to be working very well. Uh, the only thing that would be nice is, I guess, is to 
somehow mount this to the board here that I have my radio on. I got the bracket that came with the radio and um, the radio is mounted to that and the brackets mounted to this wood. Just a shelf came out of a cabinet and um, so maybe I'll get some rubber padded uh, rubber pads for the feet for this and then I might get some brackets and screw the brackets into here and maybe get like an L bracket and then have the other in, and then turn it inversely and go over here maybe get like four of them to kind of just hold the power supply down so if you have any questions or comments or anything please feel free to post thank you this is S.E. Washburn